welcome to Enjoy Harmonica. So you've looked at all the information so far. Uh, we're now going to look at information regarding the keys of the harmonica. So let's take this safe example. You've got your C harmonica and you've learnt uh, perhaps simple things like uh, the scale. Or maybe you've learnt uh, the piano man by uh, by Billy Joel. Perhaps you learnt that. Perhaps you learnt some other riffs or intros to songs, and you're really coming along quite nicely. But what other harmonica do you need apart from the C? What about the A harmonica? Now the A harmonica is is a, is a deeper. Uh, sounding harmonica and it's, uh, it's the air you have to use a bit more air actually and uh, so therefore it's a slow response and if you're working on the air harmonica it will build up your stamina so that's that's a good harmonica to have it's a little bit deeper uh, so let me just uh, play a little bit of you for you and you'll be able to play uh, riffs such as uh, Smoke on the Water by Deep Purple You'll be able to play that. Let's have a go. Something like that, anyway. <laughs> See if you're able to play Smoke on the Water. That's on, on the uh, harmonica. So have a little listen while I play a little bit for you, and you'll see uh, the difference between the C and the A harmonica. So that's the A harmonica, but whatever next? You can see the D harmonica next. It's a much higher instrument, and so it's a lot less air required, so the response is quicker. Um, have a listen, tell me what you think. Well, no, don't tell me what you think, just have a listen. So, as you can see, that was the D harmonica. You heard what it sounds like. It's uh, one you should get in your uh, in your collection. What we're going to look at now is a B flat harmonica. Now the B flat is uh, you can you can recognise the, the B flat by the B and the small B next to it there. You see, so that represents B flat. The B, the small B next to the B, is uh, a flat symbol. So that's how you would see the B flat. And what I'm using on this particular harmonica is an east top. Now I've mentioned east top before. Um, you know, I understand they're good harmonicas. So I've had a comment saying they are good harmonicas. Very, very good for beginners and intermediate. So, you know, um, that's what happens when you get useful comments. Thanks very much indeed for that comment. So I'm using a B flat just to demonstrate the sound of this. And this is where really you get into uh, playing a little bit more bluesy stuff, you know, like blues riffs, you know, it'd be good for that kind of thing. You know, Marshall Boy, Muddy Waters, that kind of thing, you know. Um, so it's a lovely sounding harmonica. It's an in-between harmonica, and uh, so I'll just uh, do the uh, a few things on it for you. Hmm, sounds 
Beautiful harmonica. So the B flat is the next one you should have. But what follows the B flat? What could it be next? The next one really is uh, the G. Now it's a very low uh, harmonica. As it happens, I'm using the golden melody. And this is a very nice uh, key for playing chugging or uh, rhythmic uh, music. You know, so the kind of thing we're looking at is uh, this kind of thing. So uh, it's not just that you play, of course, you could play tunes on it and you could certainly play uh, Neil Young's um, Heart of Gold introduction is played on this, so it goes something like this. Sorry, that's not quite right, but it's close. <laughs> so there you go. That's the G harmonica. What is next, I ask you? And really, is an F harmonica. That's a very high uh, sounding instrument. So now I'm not going to cut cut my hands or anything. So you can you 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 miss some of the pure musical quality of this. Um, I'm just going to play up and down the harmonica in in between in the holes in and out the holes just to make, help me appreciate what it really sounds like, the true sound of our game. Now the reason I've, sound, I've done that for you that way is because I wanted you to appreciate how high pitched it is and how it does sometimes sound a little bit squeaky. Now, that is fair enough. Don't worry too much about that. That's when you're playing by yourself on your own. It will, will sound a little bit squeaky. But when you play with a backing band or maybe a guitarist in a duet setting or band setting, that sound is a very sweet sound. It will come across a very sweet and light, nice and light sound. So I hope you've enjoyed our little look at various harmonicas. These are the harmonica keys you really ought to start getting once you've developed your skill in the C harmonica, which again, I'll, I'll teach you through that. I'll, I'll talk you through all that. And I certainly hope you've enjoyed this. So the next uh, little lesson we're going to give you, and it's going to be a shorter lesson than this one, will be all about reading tablature. Now this is a simple form of uh, reading uh, music uh, that's uh, suitable for the harmonica. So I certainly hope you've enjoyed this uh, little lesson. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've learned something from it. Please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, follow me on uh, my uh, Facebook uh, group. Or join my Facebook group, should I say, and follow me on my page. Thank you again, and please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye-bye now.